moving on now. It's a big boost to India's efforts to get justice for the victims of the 2611 Mumbai terror attacks. U.S. court has now allowed the extradition of Pakistani-origin Canadian businessman Tahavur Rana to India. According to the National Investigating Agency, Tahavur Rana conspired with David Coleman Headley to conduct recce of the places that were targeted by Pak-based terrorists in Mumbai in the year 2008. Significantly, the Biden administration has backed India's extradition request all along. It has made NIA hopeful of getting Tahavur Rana back to India so that he can face the law here. Now remember, he does have an appeal that is pending. This is an approval that has come to the fore from a lower court. But India and the investigating agency here is hopeful. Fifteen years ago, 166 innocent lives were lost in the most dastardly terror attack ever witnessed on in Indian soil. The memory of 2611 Mumbai terror attacks sends shivers down the spine even now. While all roads led to Pakistan for aiding and abetting the terrorists that carried out this attack, many of the perpetrators have managed to escape the long noose of the law. But today, India is one step closer to bringing to book the plotter of the attack, Tahabur Rana. A U.S. court has approved the extradition of the Pakistani origin Canadian businessman to India. The Havurana is accused of participating in the planning and execution of the 2611 terror attacks in cahoots with David Coleman Headley. He was accused of allowing Headley to open a branch of his Chicago-based immigration law business in Mumbai as a cover story and travel as a representative of the company to Denmark. The Havurana was arrested in the U.S. on an extradition request by India and convicted for providing material support to lashkar e -Toyba. The Biden administration has time and again supported the extradition of Rana to India. In fact, the US government asserted that Rana was a part of the conspiracy and there is a probable cause that he committed the substantive crime of commissioning a terrorist attack. India and the United States have an agreed upon extradition treaty in place, under which the California court today has approved the Havur Rana's extradition to India.